Welcome back to another video, and I thought I'd try something new today with some AI tools to create this video. Today we are going to be talking about Update 2 for Microsoft Teams Rooms on Android. First up, let's see the release notes. Here we have the features in this new update. GCC High Support, Smart Camera Controls, Content Camera Support, Primary Camera Switching, and Default Layout Control Settings. Now let's dive into each feature, GCCC High Support. The key thing here is this will require a Microsoft Teams Room Pro license. It will not work with the basic or standard room licenses. This new feature just means that this app version can register to the GCC high tenants. It does not mean all OEMs are compatible yet. There is just one OEM that has passed the QA for this. Each OEM has to go through the same rigorous QA testing on the GCC high tenant. Also, Microsoft do not allow OEMs to have GCC high accounts. So the testing must be carried out by Microsoft. For example, NEAT is in discussions with Microsoft about starting this testing as part of the upcoming release, known as Fuji, where the Update 2 app is bundled with this firmware. Next, we have Smart Camera Controls. This again will also require a Teams Room Pro license. This is where Microsoft are bringing together all the different OEM naming conventions for their camera control, such as NEAT Symmetry, etc., under the UI in the Microsoft Teams console. To access these camera controls, we need to be in a call. Now this is where it becomes interesting. Well, sort of. There are four different settings available. What settings are shown will be dependent on the device's capabilities. Automatic framing either on or off. This is where it will take the whole room view with no framing, or boundary settings as in Neat's case, and the full view of the room. This of it as the camera fully zoomed out. Next we have room view. This is also known as group view on neat devices. This will show everyone in the room, minus the excluded boundary area, if that has been set up to avoid glass in conference rooms. We then have composite view. This layout is equivalent to neat symmetry or individual framing of people in the room. On neat bar and board, it is up to eight individuals or groups of people, and on neat bar pro, it is up to 15 individuals or groups of people. With neat bar pro, you will get another option, active speaker. This will show the last two people who have been speaking, regardless of where they are in the room. Neat framing will show them side by side. This is using the advanced mic array that is included in the Neat Bar Pro. Other OEMs will have different options available. The next new feature is Content Camera. What this really is, it is just another camera stream that is sent within the content channel. When I press the Share Content icon in a call, I now get to share my HDMI cable, with or without audio. Whiteboard or the content camera is shown if connected. Now the support for the cameras will differ per OEM. For example, neat devices do not support this feature yet. It will come later. When the content camera is shown, it does not do the AI cropping like what happens on Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows. It just shows another video stream so it doesn't have to point at a whiteboard. You might look at packaging or clothing samples, for example. The next feature we have is primary camera switching. This allows you to add another USB camera to your Microsoft Teams room on Android system. Like the content camera, this might be dependent on OEM capabilities, and NEAT does not support this yet, as we're working towards NEAT Center, which will be an IP-connected camera delivering an overall better experience of adding cameras to meeting spaces. You'll have the option to set the default camera, but also switch the camera during the call by pressing the down arrow next to the camera icon. Finally, we have default layout controls. This is useful for single screen systems. One scenario is where you might be presenting whilst you join a call. Typically, the device would go full screen content and you would not see anyone else on video on the front of room display. You would have to select the layout content and gallery. Now you can set this as your default, along with front row, content only, and people only in the MTR console settings. This cannot be set via a configuration profile in Teams Admin Center. That's all for now. Look forward to providing you an overview of the next release very shortly. Thanks for watching.